Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of PilotClimb.com In today's video I want to talk to you about the fly deck of the Boeing 737 Lights okay? If you are rated already in the Boeing 737 or you are a pilot or you know your Boeing 737, the Boeing 737 cockpit You are already familiar with what I'm about to tell you But what I want to talk to you about the lights indications of the Boeing 737 okay so we are always used to have a light indication that tells you if a system is on or off so let me give you an example so in this example we've got this is the fuel panel okay the fuel system and these are the fuel pumps okay you've got the left wing fuel pumps right wing fuel pumps and the center pumps okay as you can see here we've got on and off okay so in this case here as well we've got on in here and off in there they are off because if you go down here, okay, you can see there is no fuel in the center tank. So since there is no fuel in the center tank, we don't need the fuel pumps. But we, since we have fuel on the left and the right wing tank, okay, we, are, we have the fuel pumps that are on, okay. So normally we are used to have uh, a light that tells you if the system is on or is this if the system is off, okay. So for example, now the, the switch is the uh, forward uh, left wing uh, tank uh, fuel pump uh, switch this is on however if I switch this switch off we're gonna have an indication okay now it's extinguished because it's on but if I pull it off it's gonna tell me low pressure okay so what I want to tell you is that normally we are used to these indications okay a light that goes on off depending if the system is on or off However, in the Boeing 737, we've got another feature in some lights that are associated with some systems that tells you if the system is in uh, transit, okay? Because some system, they, uh, they have the, valve, the valves, okay? So let's say you switch on a system, what will happen is that the valve will go from be being closed to being open. And some lights will actually tell you when the valve is in transit, okay? So... Let's say, let's look at this one, okay? This one is the CrossFit, okay? Very quickly, the CrossFit system allows you to drink, let's say, if you have an engine failure, okay? You have the right engine failure, okay? So what will happen is that the left engine that is still on will drink from the left tank, okay? And if you've been flying for like 20 minutes with one engine operative, you're gonna have a fuel imbalance because the left engine will drink from the left tank, okay? And with the crossfeed, if you open the crossfeed, the crossfeed valve, this one, okay? You will allow the left engine to drink from the right tank and keep your fuel balanced, okay? Because if you imagine a single uh, a single engine can burn 1,000, 1,200 kilograms, 1,300 kilograms, depending on the operations that you're doing. So if you are operating for 20 minutes, half an hour, you're going to have a, a fuel imbalance of around five, six, seven hundred 700 kilograms. And it is quite a lot, and you don't want to have that. So your, your target is to keep the fuel balanced, okay? So, and this is accomplished by switching on the crossfit, okay? This is the crossfit switch, and this is the crossfit valve, the light, okay? And what I want to show you is that these lights will tell you as well when the valve of that system is in transit, okay? Not only when it's on or when it's off. Okay, in this case, as you can see, this, the switch is perpendicular to the system. You see, this is the system line, okay? This is the, the line, the gray line. And since the system line, uh, with this gray line is perpendicular, that means that the crossfit is closed. However, if you want to switch it on, if you want to open the crossfit, you have to switch this switch and put this line in here, this gray line, horizontal in order to get the uh, valve to be open, okay? However, with this light, since it's now is closed, the light is off. But if I switch it on, you will see that the, this light, okay, is going to go bright blue, and the bright blue is telling you that the valve is in transit, and when the valve is the, uh, finally fully open, it's going to go into the team blue, okay? Let's, let me, let me try, okay? So I'll switch it on now, and you look at, the, at this light in there. So as you have seen, the light went from being bright blue and it was telling us that the valve was actually it was in transit and once the valve was completely open went to dim uh, blue okay this is an additional indication on the lights of the Boeing 737 that actually tells you when a system or a valve is in transit okay 
the opposite happens when you switch it off because when you switch it off the valve will go from the open to the closed position and the, the light is gonna go into the bright blue when it's in transit and then off when it's closed so let me try to do it again so we've got a full example in here so guys as you can see in here okay we've got this system on some lights they have as well this indication okay another example maybe the engine anti-ice if you look in here here we go we've got these two switches are the engine anti-ice if i switch it on as you can see here is bright and then dim okay bright because the uh, the uh, the anti-ice valve was in transit and then once the uh, the valve was open it actually got, went into the dim they, they think the same thing happened here okay so as you can see not all this not all the lights are, are equals okay some of the lights they actually give you information about uh, the switch position such as on off like we saw in the fuel pump example uh, other lights actually tells you the valve when the valve is actually transiting and uh, when the valve is fully open or fully closed by being dim blue or completely off okay I can tell you that the Boeing 737, even though it's still in production, uh, we, the Boeing is still doing the Boeing uh, 737, it's a great aircraft, and it's, it's a great aircraft as well because it's quite old style, okay, compared to the Boeing 777, for example, the Boeing 777. I've been flying, uh, I've been exposed, I've been flying this 777, the simulator, during some... Uh, tests okay and i can tell you that the 737 even though it's smaller uh, it's a lot uh, it's more difficult to fly compared to the 777 because the 777 will take care about a lot of a lot of these things such as uh, valves uh, that are in transit the switches in the seven in the 777 whenever you want something on you will just switch on the system and then the system will actually perform all the checks and everything on the 737 however you need to pay a little bit more attention and you have to switch on more a system when you have something uh, to be on okay for example the APU I don't know if you are not familiar with the APU leave a comment below and then I might, might make I might make a separate video about the APU but for example on the 737 if you want the APU on you need first to switch on the APU wait until the APU is ready and then actually activate the APU by put the APU on buses as we say okay however on the 777 you just switch a button and then it's gonna do everything by itself okay so as you can see since the 777 is a more uh, modern aircraft is a lot easier uh, is a more pilot friendly okay so i hope i hope you like this video about this light and i hope you learn something about the lights on the boeing 737 cockpit if you have any question leave a comment below and then i will help you out also go to paloclimb.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content i wish you a great day and then i'll see you on the next one